The light you're seeing from some galaxies left them long before Earth even existed, yet somehow it's still reaching us today. Astronomy may soon be told in two chapters, before Webb and after Webb. Something extraordinary is unfolding before our eyes. The catch? We still don't know if it's a brilliant revelation, a cosmic trick of the light, or a blunder in how we're reading the universe's signals. It could be a mistake in observation, a flaw in interpretation, or perhaps nature is showing us something entirely new, like a never-before-seen form of dark matter or dark energy, the kind of thing that makes scientists dream of Nobel Prizes. Now, take a look at this image. What you're seeing isn't just another pretty space picture. It's a blindingly bright structure from the infant universe. This single discovery has cracked open one of astronomy's longest-running mysteries. We know our universe is about 14 billion years old, born from the chaos of the Big Bang. After that cosmic explosion, everything went black, an eerie, endless midnight known as the Dark Ages. Picture it, space choked with cold clouds of hydrogen gas, light swallowed whole before it could travel anywhere. Even with the most powerful telescope in existence, no one could see past that wall of darkness. Yet, for decades, scientists kept noticing faint, strange light flickering from inside those clouds, as if something in the dark was trying to say, I'm here. Then came a discovery that sent shockwaves through the astronomy community. Webb's infrared eyes locked onto not one, but two ancient galaxies. Galaxies unlike anything we've cataloged before. Their shapes, their glow, they didn't fit the patterns we know. The questions piled up. Were we wrong about when the universe was born? Or are these galaxies something entirely alien to our cosmic story? The answer, or at least a piece of it, came in the form of a revelation that rewrites part of what we thought we knew. Webb's latest images showed that this mysterious light is rich in something called Lyman Alpha Emission, a kind of glowing cosmic fingerprint. And here's the kicker. Those emissions shouldn't even be visible from that era. The image also revealed a bustling, chaotic early universe, with galaxies colliding and merging far more often than we'd ever imagined. These violent encounters sparked furious bursts of star formation, releasing torrents of Lyman Alpha light. But according to the textbooks, those emissions should have been smothered by the thick hydrogen fog of the Dark Ages, never making it to our eyes. Yet, we're seeing them. How? Researchers now believe that as stars blazed into existence, they didn't just send out light, they carved tunnels through the darkness. Their radiation ionized pockets of hydrogen, punching holes in the cosmic fog and creating channels for their light to escape. In short, the universe wasn't as lightless as we thought, it was already finding ways to shine. Those stellar bubbles and channels didn't just let light through, they allowed Lyman and Alpha emissions to escape giving us a window into realms that were once hidden behind the curtain of the Dark Ages. And then came an even more jaw-dropping twist. In another deep-field web image, astronomers spotted two galaxies existing beyond that darkness. These weren't just distant, they were... different. Their structure, their glow, and their very fingerprints defied what we've seen before. But here's the catch. Both are highly redshifted, meaning their light has been stretched to extreme lengths as the universe expanded. If these objects truly are galaxies, their redshift values pose a serious problem for everything we thought we knew about the early cosmos. Webb's data, visualized in a striking graph, laid it out clearly. The farthest galaxies ever confirmed through spectroscopic observations, among them a familiar name, GNZ11, spotted first by Hubble, sitting a staggering 13.2 billion light years away. But Webb peered deeper into GNZ11 and revealed something extraordinary. At its heart lurks a supermassive black hole, not just any black hole, the most distant one ever found, born a mere 400 million years after the Big Bang. That's not just unusual, it's impossible, at least by our current theories. By the timeline we've been taught, the deaths of the first stars or the mergers of small black holes couldn't have produced something this massive so soon after the universe's birth. To explain it, we'd need to rewrite the rulebook on how black holes form, possibly from scratch. And that wasn't even the biggest shock in the data set. The chart also pinpointed another record breaker. 
GES Z13-0, the most distant confirmed galaxy yet, shining from 13.47 billion light years away. But then there's something even stranger lurking in the numbers. Two galaxies sitting at a redshift of around 16. Translation, these galaxies existed before the Dark Ages had even ended. This flies in the face of our standard cosmological model, which says galaxies didn't begin forming until after that lightless era ended. Yet here they are, massive, mature, and ancient, suggesting the universe wasted no time in building its first cities of stars. So, how do we explain them? One option is as radical as it sounds, maybe the universe is older than we thought. <laughs> Another, something weird happened after the Big Bang, an unknown process that turbocharged galaxy formation. For now, these two mysterious galaxies are waiting for full spectroscopic confirmation. If those redshift values hold, the foundations of modern cosmology won't just crack, they'll collapse. And in the rubble, one bold idea has begun to take hold among scientists, a mind-bending theory known as conformal cyclic cosmology. This is where the cyclic universe model steps in, an idea bold enough to explain these puzzling early galaxies. Nobel Prize winning physicist Dr. Roger Penrose proposes that our universe isn't the first act in the cosmic play. He calls the era before ours the previous eon. In his vision, at the end of that eon, black holes slowly evaporate, exactly as Stephen Hawking predicted, until in their final whisper of energy, they spark the Big Bang of a brand new universe. Penrose goes even further. The dead black holes left over from that prior cosmos might have supercharged the expansion of our young universe. If that's true, they could be the missing link explaining how supermassive black holes and enormous galaxies appeared so astonishingly early in cosmic history. And make no mistake, what the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered in just its first three years has already torn through record after record. Each one pushes our understanding further from the safe shores of what we thought we knew. Taken together, these findings hint at something radical. Maybe our universe is far older than we imagined. Or perhaps it's just one link in an endless chain of universes, each giving birth to the next. Another possibility? The universe may have always existed without a true beginning at all. And when you consider its potentially infinite size, the notion of an infinite age starts to feel less like fantasy and more like inevitability. In that light, the Big Bang might not have been the beginning, but merely a dramatic chapter in the ongoing saga of an eternal, ever-evolving cosmos. So, after everything Webb has shown us, I'll leave you with this. If the universe truly has no beginning, what does that mean for our place in it? Let me know what you think about these discoveries, about the age of our universe, and about whether we're just living in one moment of an infinite cosmic cycle. <laughs>